Anthony here with Go RV. I'm with uh, Martine and Nathan Wallace and their kids, and we're going to be talking about their journeys around Australia. Guys, thanks for joining us. No problem, it's nice being here. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Where did the actual original decision come from to, to just sell up, do whatever you did, get in a van and go? I think we had this conversation years ago. How many years? What about five or six we years beforehand? Yeah, we had three kids under five and we were going to go in a camper trailer and I was going to nurse. And then we kind of started planning it out and you'd sat and done a big map. And then I thought about the reality of doing a night shift, having three kids under five and coming back in the outback sleeping um, in the camper trailer in that heat. And we just were like, no, nah, we just weren't in a position financially we could, we could do it. And I was watching the, uh, one of those, those truckers in the outback. And I just remember watching it and then we were, the kids were liking the show and I was like, would you like to see some more of Australia? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then I, I just, something just triggered and I, and I said to Martine, do you reckon we should travel around Australia now? And it was within like months, we pretty much went straight from making a decision to go into a caravan show, to putting a deposit on the, on the van and then just taking off. So you made the decision, yep. let's get out. You've bought a van, you've done what you need to do and then you've hit the road mm -hmm. and <laughs> then the learning started. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we were numpties. We'd never owned a van before. We hadn't even owned a camper trailer. We camped a few times in tents and I camped growing up. But it was actually the biggest blessing ever, just being out in nature and free to explore. Now, I think like travelling, you kind of end up like changing plans all the time. I think that's what we've learned in our travels. Like You can always have plans, but 95% of the time they don't end up where you, you tend to be going. I think that offers the kids the most amazing experiences across the board. The, the schooling that you're doing with them, uh, is that being done through uh, an, an education department or is that just your undertaking to do a certain amount? How, how does that work? So the first two years we did it as a distance education. Um, that was through New South Wales, which we, you can only have so, so many years within distance education. And this year we've moved on to homeschooling, which is through a, a program called UCA and that's we, we haven't kind of got enough <laughs> you know experience to tell you what our experience has been like so far but the kids have been enjoying it and um, that's the best thing as well. Um, the amount of feedback that we get on how resilient confident our children are because they get out they meet new people they've got to adapt to change they've got to go meet kids of all different age groups all different groups of life all different backgrounds and then we move on. What did you learn from the first time that is going to make this van a whole lot better than the first one. The biggest thing that we were looking for was something that we could go off grid for long. Um, we wanted to be probably a little bit lighter on weights. That was a big thing. Uh, we also wanted to have more water, more solar. Uh, we're quite heavy users of power as well because we run a business, obviously schoolwork. Yep. And th those are the kind of combinations that we were looking at to go, well, this is what the main priorities are in our new build can we look at that and then the other things kind of fell around it mm -hmm. so and increasing the bunks for the kids because the out. kids have grown a ton and they were starting to just complain a little bit what worked on the old van and what didn't work i honestly believe we didn't have the big club lounge and the drop down bed with that extra space i would have quit by now yeah. It just gives us you so much more room. Every day is not a perfect day when you're caravanning and camping. Like, yeah, some <laughs> bad days where you don't want to be outside. There's flies, there's mosquitoes. Having that there, everyone can sit around there, not be on top of each other. When you're eating dinner... We have friends over for dinner you, and we can all sit around. You, you, you don't fantastic. have to have your plate on your lap. You don't have sand and dust going on your bed, like it's up from the ceiling. The yeah. <laughs> what about mechanically? Underneath the van, body-wise? Yeah, we obviously went with an aluminium chassis and we did that for light, for weight. There is obviously additional cost involved, mm -hmm. um, quite substantial cost, but... I would rather have a hundred kilo of toys and fun stuff that we can clothes. take. That, well, yeah, and extra <laughs> outfits and blankets and stuff. But also, like, having dead weight in a chassis, for me, makes no sense for a little bit of an investment that we can take things that are going to make it even more fun and more adventure. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. And we, we took our van, like, Cape York, all for the Savannah Way, so we knew it was capable, and we obviously won the airbag suspension, which we absolutely love. It's probably one of my favourites. One for the suspension capabilities. 
but also be able to self to, to level that sites. Been to Cape York. You've been to a lot of. You, you said earlier that you really love getting off road. Yes, we just love being out of the way of everything, just seeing things in its natural beauty. Because you know, it's it's often the way that you know you see the things that no one else sees, and that's why we've obviously got a, a van like what we've got, just so we can experience both the natural beauties, but also have the same luxuries that we're used to at home. Okay. So speaking of luxuries, nice yes. little segue there. <laughs> what about we head inside the van and check it out? Perfect. Just have a look. <laughs> eh? <laughs> So one of the things we wanted to do was obviously create a space where it felt clean, like you said. The gasless, when we're in a heat and you're sweating over a pan, and then it just, all that heat goes everywhere. But having that induction, you don't have that issue. <laughs> having the young kids and the safety element is huge, and aesthetically, and from a cleaning perspective, having the induction is so much better. We've got the Ozex Corp's new 14.3 kilowatt battery. We can pretty much power all our cooking, all our hot water, all our aircon, everything from that battery system. So that's allowing you so far to run everything without any drums? 100%. So we, we were been, haven't been plugged in for days and we we're running air conditioning for like four or five hours every day. And not every day was sunny as well. So we were able to do that. Obviously our hot water is pure, um, which obviously takes a lot of power as well. Mm -hmm. And cooking, so we cook on the, the outside Weber. We cook on our induction cooktop outside and inside mm -hmm. and running air conditioning. So you'd think <laughs> take a bit. that's their high using products. Our pure energy in input is all solar. So we've got four 400 watt panels up on the roof. They're mm -hmm. commercial grade, so they are a little bit heavier, bulkier, but they put in a lot of power back into that battery system. Right. All our controls are above, above our front door that we can see and manage what's going in, what's going out. It's an easy way for us to be able to tell what's going on. The kids will know how to use it as well. You guys are traveling around. Yes. You've got Free to Explore, mm -hmm. which is your social media yep. aspect, and you talk about you do campsite reviews, yep. you're looking at product reviews. In this van, yep. you're testing some stuff. Mm -hmm. So we have copper tapware. We've got the waterfall ends of the Caesar stone top, which looks amazing out there internet. And we're trialing that at the moment. We've got a smaller fridge this time mm -hmm. um, because we have the second fridge in the car. Yeah, so last time we had the 274 litre, which was downscaled to about 170. We've got a different shape to the bathroom. Less is always more. So I like a really neutral palette so that I can add colours in and I don't have to buy a new van because I don't like the interior anymore. So it's able to be changed. So I love that about it. A big thing though, just to jump in there, is the, the, the big windows. So mm -hmm. this is this has actually made this whole space feel a lot bigger because the windows now are, are flat line, slim line ones, but we've also gone with the fact that they're probably another, you know, 200 it's mils bigger than our previous ones. And so I sleep on that side because that's where all the good views are. <laughs> but once that bed's down, it sits flush. So in the morning you wake up it's and just... it's heaven. Yeah. It's just like home where you park her is literally the biggest gift ever because you every week you have different views. And of course traveling is the gift that keeps on giving, doesn't it? Because you do, you get views everywhere. The outside storage of this and the layout is like I would not change a thing, it's incredible. And um, we also went the wall mounted washing machine. What would you say to, pe to people that are just looking at their first van? I think the biggest thing is work out where you plan to go. So the trips, the type of trips you're gonna be going. So whether you wanna be going caravan parks, you wanna go off grid, um, how long you're gonna be going for, is it full time, part time, who's gonna be going with you? And just write a bit of a, a list out of all those things. And probably speak to people that have done it before because then, then you can make a decision because everyone travels differently we travel a lot differently you don't need our setup for most people i know for me i was a bit stressed before we went and you get worried because you set in a routine if you feel called or you want to go make a plan figure it out go in whatever setup you can and make those memories because time you don't get time back so uh free and explore dot co Free, free, free to, to explore.co. Free to explore. Okay. Co. People can just jump online, follow your travels there. Yep. So we have obviously in, uh, Instagram, Facebook, website as well okay. as YouTube. Lovely. Excellent. Thank you for sharing some time with me and taking us through your, your new van. Um, good luck with your travels and I, I hope you just have a, continue to have a ball. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.